place, so they, they'll... Okay, they'll here's the mileage, and, and I thought I'd just call this part three. There's the uh, speaker and touch down there. Let me see if I throw a flashlight on there. We can see. Oh, well, not really. Okay. Uh, now let me play a cassette like I normally do. Oh, let me let me rewind this here. Okay, so get to the beginning, give you an idea of how this sounds front to rear. We have the new speakers in the front and the old speakers in the rear. Okay, so here, there's that. All right, so it's in the front. Take it to the back. Notice how the bass disappeared. The front only. Crank up some bass. That's all the bass. A little volume. And uh, take it to the rear. Let me show you the rear. There's one speaker. There's that battery charger, and there's the other side. I'm going to open that up briefly, or real quickly. All right. Anyhow, that's what that sounds like there. And uh, so here, let me get outside. Oh, I want to show you. Yesterday, I installed... Where's the flashlight? Here it is. I installed this speaker in the, in the front. And... Um, this is identical. Let's see. Ah. You see that there? No grill. There it is. There's the Infinity 6010 component stereo. And I have pictures of what I did from behind the door. So now, I guess let me shut this off. Well, here, I want to show you the cheesy speaker that's in the back here. so let's here let's go and turn this off so we can uh get to it all right so eject and uh, oops turn that off and okay great no alarm great all right so here let's go let's get put this on a tripod okay if you already have hopefully set up correctly all right so There we go. Okay, so now I've never taken this door apart, so this is partially for me as well in taking it apart. <coughs> so, here it is now, like I've done in the past, you need to pop this off, which hopefully just pops up. Let's see. Maybe I should have brought it. Oh, there went the alarm. Okay, great. So that is up and out of there. And we can unclip it. And let me clip the thing around so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There's the cover and it's only got it's got all the clips, so that's good. Alrighty. So now I'm going to need to flip this around here. I need to get down here and take out the two bottom screws, which we didn't do from before. Like I said, I have never taken this apart. Okay. Uh, probably just all you can see is my white shirt. Oh well. that one and then here's 
this screw. Okay, great. That should be out. Nope, not, not out yet. There we go. There's those. Now, we need to get a super fantastic fat, fancy little screwdriver thing here for the other two screws. So I pull that off there. Right, and we got it already missing this thing. I don't know where it went to. There was a cover that went on here. So there's a big screw there. Okay, so there's that one. And then in here, Another gosh darn screw. All right. All right, so. okay. There we go. Put that there. Now, basically, you just pull this up, right? Yeah, there we go. So now, Pull that up. Now we have to discombobulate the two little hidden links that you really can't. Well, here, let me, let me grab the camera and see if I can show you. There we go. You gotta discombobulate those two things there. There we go. You just bend them back and then pop them off. Raise, raise up the little rod out of there. Great, I'm only seven minutes? Great, excellent. Okay. <clears throat> so, back on the pie tribe. Hey, pod. Hey. There's one. And that's off. That's what I need to know because I want to, I didn't bring it out here, I was going to install tweeters up here and I need to know where these gizmos are so I'm going to probably put a tweeter, wait, can you see me? Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to install a tweeter, one or two right about here I guess, I wanted to make sure I had enough clearance and that it wouldn't interfere with these uh, the lock and door mechanism, okay? And down here, while we're at it, because I know it just unclips from the back side, let's see. Let's, uh, let's get that out of there real quick. Okay, that's just a regular screw. doing this on video so I can back this and hopefully be able to install my bigger speakers on here. Right, and then here's a clip. Wow, that's a really flat speaker. Come on. Alright. Yay, so where is the... Hey, you see that there? That's the speaker that came out of there. And my question I wanted to know is, okay, here's a part of the window regulator. So if I install a speaker with a bigger magnet, will the bigger magnet push or 
be in the way. Well, no, shouldn't be in the way because I got plenty of room here. It's just a matter of how far back would the magnet push on this uh, cable here <coughs> to allow me to install the bigger, deeper rubber. I got plenty of depth back here, so that's real good. I got almost okay. I mean, that's just a that's a cheesy little thing and I don't know if you can see it but the surrounds you see that if I hold it at the right angle the surrounds are all gone so the base has not been here for a long time okay and uh, this is clipped in so you just unclip push these but pull these back and pop pry this off of here and install my oh shucks I have to get different screws now maybe shorter screws Oh, shucks. Okay, I have to go to the hardware store again. All right, thanks. It's been my, however long has it been, exploratory. On oh, here, let me zip into that. Just give us a quick, oh, 11 minutes. Well, that'll fit somewhere. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.